Hello students, today is agenda is to check homework. Uh, you will be learning about equations and we will be doing only addition and subtraction. You will be able to do 11.7 and 11.8. Uh, the first four is for 11.7 and the last four examples is for 11.8. Today students will be able to solve one step equations by adding or subtracting. So before I do this, uh, let me ask you this. Think of a number. Okay? Uh, make sure you think of a number. Piensen en un número. Add 5. So, sumele 5 a ese número. Now, subtract 5. Ahora, restenle 5 a, a lo que llevan aquí. So you go back to your number, right? By adding and subtracting the same number, you get the number that you thought about. Um, so si le sumamos y restamos la misma cantidad, regresamos al número inicial. Is that right? Correcto? So here's another example. Think of a number. It can be the same or a different number. Subtract 1. Now add 1. Again, is your answer the same that you started with? Okay, so what is that? That's called inverse operations. So let me write that in here. Inverse operation. It, um, it's, these are operations that cancel each other. If you add and subtract, or the other way around, look at how in here. First, we add it and then subtract it. Or if you still subtract first and then add the same number, you end up with the same. They cancel each other, basically. They cancel each other when you add and subtract the same thing. So in here, we can say that addition is the opposite of subtraction. And subtraction is the opposite of addition. So they cancel each other. Se cancela uno al otro. Suma y resta. Okay? Another thing that we are going to need to know for this lesson is the signs. And you have learned already about signs. And for this lesson, we're just going to do addition and subtraction so that you remember. And if you have two positives, you're adding or putting together two positives, or if you're also putting together two negatives, so si tenemos dos positivos o dos negativos, sumamos, we're gonna add, okay? We're going to add, but if the signs are different, you have a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive, we're going to subtract, okay? And, in all these instances, we're going to get the sign of the greater one. Vamos a agarrar el signo del mayor. Y el signo del mayor solo en suma y resta. Uh, greatest sign. Greatest sign. Okay. So that's going to be super, super, super important to remember. Okay. Um, have your the law of signs la, la regla de los signos para la suma y resta que es diferente a multiplicación y división y la vamos a ver en la próxima lección ok, okay so yo le digo signos iguales se suman signos diferentes se restan y se queda el signo del mayor ok uh, signos iguales se suman signos diferentes se restan y se queda el signo del mayor meaning the strongest one I go like doing muscles, <laughs> okay? So having that in mind, let's start with some examples. And so let me cover so that you don't have a temptation to go ahead. So in here we have number one, it says n plus five equals seven. So I'm thinking of a number, I'm adding five and I get seven. Now it's like going back, remember? Tengo número, súmele, ahora restenle. So we're going to cancel by, if I'm adding, the opposite or the inverse operation is to subtract. This one doesn't work well, very well. Okay, the inverse operation is to subtract. And if I'm adding 5, I'm subtracting 5. 
Now in here, this equal sign means that I have the same on this side of the equal and on this, they are equal. However, if I'm subtracting on this side of the equal sign, that means that they're not gonna be equal anymore. So to make it still equal, I'm gonna subtract on both sides. Aquí resto 5 para cancelar, pero si resto en un lado, tengo que restar en el otro para que mantenga esa igualdad, okay? So this cancels, and so I end up with my number, right? And what was that number? Well, 7 minus 5 is 2, okay? So n is 2. So what did I do in here? I use the inverse operation of adding 5 so that I can get to know what the answer for n is. This is called cancel by subtracting. Okay, so we're canceling by subtracting. Okay, so let's do another example. And remember, you can always um, pause the video, okay, so that you can have time to solve this. So in here, I have a number and I'm subtracting 8. Now, the opposite of subtracting is adding 8. Okay? And so, again, if I have a neg minus 8 plus 8, that cancels. And so I end up with W equals, again, remember that some people like to put a dotted line in there so that you know you have to put the plus on this side, plus 8, and then on this side. You have to do it on one side and the other because some people want to put plus 8 and plus 8 on the same side of the equal sign. No. You draw the line where the equal sign is and whatever you're canceling, you do it on both sides of that line. And 10 plus 8 is 18. Okay, what did you do in here? You cancel by adding. Okay, you're canceling that subtraction by adding 8. Okay, let's do another one. Now in here, you have 4 plus z, which is the same as z plus 4. Since this is positive, that means that you're adding 4, so therefore the opposite is to subtract 4. Again, it's on both sides of this equal sign, okay? And you put that line. 4 minus 4 is 0, so that cancels. Now you only have zeta, z. And you do 7 minus 4 is 3. Notice how this is minus, this is minus, okay? Very important. This was plus, this is plus, and then in here, minus, minus, okay? Whatever you're canceling, they have to be the same on both, okay? Again, what are you doing here? You're canceling, so cancel by subtracting. Okay, one more example. I'm going to put this on the side. And so I have now the equal sign is right here. So if you want to draw the line, that's where you should draw the line, okay? And I want to know the value of E. So it says E minus 11. I want to cancel that 11 so that I want to leave E by itself. Notice how I want to leave the variable, the variable by itself, okay? So now in here, since I, I have something in, next to the E, if I'm subtracting, the opposite is to add. Okay, so cancel by adding. Let me put that in here. Cancel by adding. Always the opposite. The opposite of subtraction is addition. And if I owe, esto es como deber 11 dólares. So I owe 11. I pay 11. Now I owe 0. And I only have the E left equals... 6 plus 11, 17. And so that's going to be my answer. Okay. Remember to pause it so that you have time to copy it. Maybe rewind if you need more time. Let's do some more. So in here, we have P 
P. So these four examples are going to help you for page eight, I believe. Um, yeah, for page eight, okay? So if I'm adding nine, I'm going to cancel. Notice how I'm writing it before I, I do it. The opposite of addition is subtraction, so cancel by subtracting. Okay, so if I'm adding nine, now I'm going to subtract nine and nine minus nine cancel. Remember that your dotted line is here. And so you have P equals two minus nine. Oh, now I have to remember those signs, the, the, the review for signs. So in here it says, I have a positive, I have a negative, positive and negative, that means that I'm going to subtract. And yes, even if it's backwards, I'm going to get the bigger one first. So we say 9 minus 2, that's 7. And then after I subtract, it says, get the greatest sign. Get the greatest sign. Which one is greater? Oh, la deuda. The, the debt is greater. So that means that I end up with debt. So basically, it means you have $2 and you owe $9. That means that you owe 7 right? So we have to come back to this. Um, so I'm going to be kind of moving it back and forth. Okay. The next one, we have to be very careful uh, because we're adding, adding a negative 7. And so when we're adding a negative 7, it's like saying subtracting. So the opposite of subtracting 7 is to add 7. And the thing is that if you put minus, it's minus and minus that, that will be that won't cancel. We need to cancel this, okay? So cancel by adding. Again, because it's a debt, le tengo que sumar, ¿verdad? Si debo siete, tengo que sumar siete para que ya no deba nada. So se queda, that becomes zero, and so it cancels. I end up with x only equals once again, I have a debt, that's negative. I have a plus, that's positive in here. So I'm going to subtract. Signos diferentes se restan y se queda el signo del mayor. So 8 minus 7 is 1. Which one is greater? ¿Cuál es mayor? The negative, so I'm going to put minus. Porque el 8 es mayor que el 7, right? So negative 1. O si lo pensamos, debo 8, pago 7. So I owe $8, I pay 7, that, that means that I still owe $1, okay? And the tricky part is here. Some people say, oh, si es negativo, pasa positivo. Well, you can think of it that way, but you just need to cancel it, okay? Okay, in here, I'm subtracting. The opposite of subtracting is cancel by adding so this is similar to this one except that the, they are flipped kind of okay again my div dividing line is here so that means that when I cancel I have to cancel on this side and on this side okay not here and here some people get confused draw this line if you need to so if I'm subtracting three the opposite is to add three to both sides and so x equals Again, let's go back to our signs. So, one negative, one positive. That means subtract and leave the greatest sign, okay? And again, I always start with the bigger one. Three minus one is two. And the greater sign is, oh, the positive, so it's just positive. You don't need to put the plus in there, okay? We already know that by not putting the sign, it means positive two. Si te debo uno, tengo tres dólares, pago el que debo y ya nada más me quedan dos. Positivo. Okay, the last one. Says, so, um, I'm subtracting. Remember that the, the one that we want to leave by itself is the variable. So cancel whatever is on that side. On that side of the equal sign, we need to have only the y. So if I'm subtracting six, the opposite is to add six okay so cancel by adding 
Okay, and so in here, devil says, pago says. That means that I don't have any debt anymore. In here, I have eight, and then I add. Why am I adding 16? I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I add six, so that's equals to 14. Okay, and that's it. Have fun doing 11.7 and 11.8.